Hey guys, my name is Shelby Broussard, and today I'm kind of going to go over um, the different types of social media that you can use to promote either an organization or a school in the kinesiology department. So I am, I'm going to go back and forth between um, like a physical education department as a PE teacher and also as a coach because that's the two areas that I'm going to be working in when I graduate. So, the first social media tool you can use is Facebook. Everybody's big on Facebook. Um, from a PE perspective, you can make even a, um, a business page if your principal or that your athletic director wants to do an athletics page um, that can promote your sport, get fans to come support, write game times. Um, if you want to do like a group t-shirt order something like that you can always post that on Facebook and you can also make it a private group to where like if you wanted to do a team group which my coach did when I was in high school that makes it easier to keep everybody kind of on the same page um, and so another thing you could use is Instagram now teens are extremely big in Instagram um, even college teams use Instagram to promote uniforms um, just to kind of give their fans a preview as to what they're working on. Sometimes I've seen things from um, what they're doing as practice or games, you know, what time of the game everybody comes support, to like banquets, fundraisers, things like that. So Instagram can be very helpful as well. Um, and same for a um, physical education teacher, a PE teacher. You can use Instagram to like post a picture of a new game that you introduce your kids to or hey my kids are doing archery this week and they love it. We're having a blast. Things like that. Um, and a lot of people love like I'm the kind of person who I'd rather Instagram over things like Twitter because it has pictures and I'm more of a picture person. So sometimes pictures like on Instagram will catch people's attention more than let's say Twitter. Um, another social media thing that I love and it's mainly a girl thing but I guess guys could use it too is Pinterest. Um, now Pinterest is basically kinda like a blog but you can add like your own pictures or videos or you can look up other people's pictures or videos. Now from a physical education teacher's perspective I could post like let's say I came up with a new fun game to implement the skills of basketball and I wanted to share it with other people who are maybe um, you know looking to do try or try different things with their kids I can post that to Pinterest and then anybody who let's say looks up basketball drills on Pinterest my video could come up and that would just you know kinda help them because not everybody is creative and they may want to expand their coaching horizon um, even as like an athletic coach like I coach softball and I work with outfield mainly so if I wanted to post or post my demonstrations of drills on Pinterest for you know others to kinda see in case they're stuck or they wanna you know they wanna try something different um, or if I'm looking for different drills that would help my outfield improve instead of the regular stuff that we always do I can search like outfield fly drills on drop step or things like that so Pinterest really narrows it down by the search um, you can put videos you can put pictures but that is also a good way just to um, either look for information to make your class or your team better or also to provide information for other people who may be stuck. So those are just a few types of social media that can be very helpful even in the area of sports. Thanks guys.